Hello and welcome to Rock Paper Shotgun. I am Alice and I'm here playing Two Point Hospital's Bigfoot DLC. It's available on the Steam store right now, but before we get into it, a quick thank you to Shadow for supporting this video. For more info on the impressive cloud-based PC, check out the link in the video description below. And now, I'm going to show you all the new stuff that is in the Bigfoot DLC. I'm going to take us to the Underlook Hotel, which is all the way up here. We also have this one over here. This is Swalbard. That looks nice, doesn't it? I like the look of that. It's an abandoned institute. And we have Rokefoot Castle, which I also want to show you. But we'll have a look at these two in sandbox mode. People often ask me, hey Wolf, what's your favorite place in this crazy county of ours? And I always say, Underlook, man. Not that I'm into skiing or little snow-covered cottages, but there's something special about it. And everyone should spend at least one night in the spooky Underlook Hotel. That letter was written by the new Celebrietti? Is that how they Celebrietti? Yes. You've been invited to run the resort's brand new medical facility. Instead of being paid for processing patients, you'll be given money for completing targets set by the hotel and receive a monthly performance bonus based on how successfully you've been treating guests. For the first three months, all of your running costs will, need, will be covered by your monthly bonus. As you're a part of the hotel, you'll have to contend with all of the bad press it receives. It might be worth investing in some marketing. Wah, wah. We're likely to receive some barking mad patients. So this is one of the new illnesses, a common ailment this part of the county, but our organization doesn't have any way of treating them. The Bigfoot Foundation have said that they will invest in some equipment for us once we get our first hospital off the ground. So there's little cute cable cars in this area. Look, they go up to the Rokefoot Hotel as well and that's how your guests get there. So I don't know how much we have unlocked at the moment, Right, everything's locked, but there's this new stuff down here. We've got a moose head, a faux rug, ace rug, cat rug, duck rug, leopard rug. And we've got all these new posters as well. I think Mockstar, I think this is a new one. I think these posters are quite new. This dog art, it definitely is. Pointy painting is definitely new. Uh, cube of sitting is new. Holly wreath is new. And the fir tree is new and the cuckoo clock is new. So there's lots of Christmassy themed bits and bobs here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm not the most Christmassy type of person, but I did make a wreath. I did make a wreath. I went to a wreath making workshop. That was quite fun. So I'm used to playing this in sandbox mode, which is my preferred way of playing this just because I like putting loads of stuff down and I can put loads of stuff down in sandbox mode. Oh dear, that's a bad noise. Right, so there's my marketing thing. Oh, someone's dead already. Wow. Wow. I think I'm going to show you all the new bits and bobs you can get. I'm going to have a look at Swellbard in sandbox mode so we can see what kind of place it is. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> look at the little buildings. Okay, I like the look of this. And where are our plots? There. 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 Quite a lot of expansion room. Oh, you got to knock down people's little beach huts. Is it a beach hut if it's in snow. They're, they're definitely beach huts, right? Snow huts. But let's not pretend that the hospital that I really want to show you ah, is Roquefort. And I'm just going to play it. It's gonna. I've got everything unlocked in it so I can show you all the new juicy bits. And look, look, look. This is where the cable car comes up to bring in patients. Look at that. Look at the cable car. Will a patient get out of it? I hope so. I hope a patient comes out of it. There it goes in. And it's like being at Alton Towers. Eee! And, oh, there was no one on that cable car. As it was, eee! Who have we got? We've got Ben Kunk. That sounds a bit like a rude word, doesn't it? I'm gonna build a reception and I'm gonna get this hospital underway. And then I'll show you some of the new bits and bobs and a hot chocolate maker which is obviously what everybody wants obviously want a hot chocolate maker and a plant just to make that look nice we'll hire some assistants uh cat burp cat burp that's not a name i mean it's her name fair enough but cat burp cat burp name of my first child okay so some of the new items that we've got we've got this new sophisticated bench which is pretty swish, to be honest. I quite like how that looks. 
If we pop a little sophisticated bench down there and put a sophisticated bench there and then we've got these new cube of sittings. Look at those! Hospitals would be way more fun if you could sit on one of those, wouldn't they? We've got lanterns, holly wreath, the one I made is better than that one. We put a Christmas tree by the front door so that people can feel jolly and stuff when they come in. The pointy painting is new. It's got like a picture of people in hospital there. Yeah. Dog art is new. It's very cute. Mountains painting, I believe is new. This is definitely new because this is a new illness. Metropol metropol metropolism. Metropolism is new. Because that's a new illness. Barking mad, also a new illness. And all of these new posters as well. The rugs, the faux rug, the moose head is new. The ski rack is new. I'm gonna make it a bit snowy, snowy themed. So people are gonna come in off their snowboards and stuff. The hot chocolate thing is new. Furnace. Now, that's new. Look how much that heated up. That's made that area a bit too hot, I think. Absorbent snap machine. Stocked with chocolate spongy cake balls. Reduces toilet need. Absorbs your unwanted bodily fluids. Well, that's gross, isn't it? Isn't that gross? I think that's pretty gross. I'm gonna add some more cube of sittings down because I like them. Weird that I like them, but I've never used the standard chairs before. Sophisticated bench is pretty swish though. I do like it. I would trust a hospital that had a sophisticated bench in its waiting room. Should we have them so they have to sit awkwardly opposite each other while they wait for their doctor appointments? Yeah, that's good. I'm going to hit play and I'm going to build a GP's office. We need a GP's office. I'm building a GP's office. Thank you, Jeremy Corbyn. Oh, right. So we can see some of the new rugs here. Ace rug, cat rug, duck rug, leopard rug, Retro rug. Is that a shining carpet? Is that the shining carpet? Moose head is new. Look at him. Look at his little head. Little, it's not little, is it? It's quite big. This globe, you can make your GP pretty swish. I use the word swish too much. Now we have all the bits for these people. I'm gonna have a little look at the new rooms. So I'm gonna have a look at dog house first, minimum size four by four. K9 away is what you need for this room. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I'm not being funny, this looks like an amazing room. Dog bowl and dog bone. Big tennis ball. Fire hydrant. Oh, this is amazing. I've just got a dog, so having this room is really cute and I enjoy it a lot. I should probably put some toilets down. I'm gonna add some doggy pictures in here. We don't have any patients who need it right now, but I was just super curious to see what it was gonna look like. And it has not disappointed me at all. I absolutely love how this looks. Look at it. Had it right here. That's an amazing room. I genuinely love that. Nah, I don't want a ski rack in my general diagnosis room. What is that? No. Barking mad post, I'm gonna put that in there. The dog room. Does that rub it in a bit? If you put your... I don't know. Urban mythology. What size do you need? Five by six! Ah. I've, so I've already unlocked... Because this is sandbox mode. I've already unlocked the whole hospital. <laughs> and it's incredible. Like, it's virtually all attached. Apart from a few areas. Look at it. It's massive. Absolutely massive. You could have a little cafeteria room here which would be really cool. Or shops and cafeteria, which I would love to do. I'm excited to see what we have to put in this one. Urban mythology. Five by six. Holy moly, what is this? <gasps> okay, this is gonna be amazing. Camera. Oh, because yes, 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 urban mythology. This is what the RPS studio looks like when we film our Let's Plays. This is amazing! I really love these new rooms and their props. I'm a sucker for stuff like this. Like proper, proper sucker for room design. I, if you've watched any of my videos about The Sims, or if you've watched my video about Two Point Hospital versus Project Hospital, then you'll understand that I love designing stuff. 
absolutely love it it's one of my favorite things to do now should we see what kind of what would it oh, 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 oh. you should see my face right now no way no way oh i can't wait to see this room in action genuinely cannot wait to see this room in action look at this small little building oh my god this is incredible. This is Don't genuinely incredible. Burning building! With fire! Added fire! <gasps> oh my god. The props in this room are phenomenal. Inner city simulator. Inner city life, inner city pressure. The concrete world is starting to get you. I love that the burning building carries on even though the game is paused. So I'm gonna build the next new room, which is reanimation, which needs four by four. So there we go. So this, if you haven't seen the trailer, I've seen this in the trailer, they plonk someone into the ice, I believe. But it's all about the exciting bits that come with it. It's not really about the machine or what it does or how it cures people. Bottled electricity. Plasma ball, ooze tank. Okay, I do enjoy how much thought has gone into these new ones. They have taken an idea and they've bloody run with it. I'm gonna add a, can I add a rug in here? I guess it's quite un, unhygienic to have rugs in diagnosing rooms. I'm gonna add a few more bottled electricity bits because it looks really cool. Look, it looks like a cellar. It looks like a look at that door. It's got a proper bolted door. Oh my goodness. I just want someone to need to be in any of these rooms as soon as possible. We have a lot of our basic rooms down now. So I think I'm gonna build a staff room and then Radi I've got loads of radiators. What do I, I don't need more? <gasps> look at this new staff room stuff. Are you kidding me? Excuse me for getting excited about some sofas, but holy moly, there are new sofas for the staff room. And if that's not something to get excited about, then I don't know what it is. If it's wrong to get excited about sofas, then I don't want to be right, quite frankly, because ha ah, sofas. I was going to build a staff room and like just not put it in, but I think it's necessary to show you the. <gasps> So you can lounge along it. Oh my god. Checkered sofas. So we originally just had the sofa, which has checks on anyway. But now we've got the checkered sofa. We've got the L-shaped checkered sofa. We've got the luxury sofa, which looks like it belongs in a strip club. Um, checkered armchair. Luxury armchair. Red bean bag as opposed to just bean bag. Can I add just a just an area over here of the new armchairs, the new stuff over here. And I'm going to put a nice little uh, rug underneath it. I'm going to put the duck rug underneath this area. You've got no idea how excited this makes me. I don't know if you can tell from my <gasps> sharp intakes of breath over it. But my goodness, this is exciting. The chance drink machine should increase health, but might d decrease health. So, mm, I don't know. That's a chance we can take with our doctors, I think. Oh my goodness, I'm going to add a luxury corner now. A luxury area over here. This is my luxury area. This is where only the elite doctors get to sit. Who am I kidding? All the doctors can sit wherever they want to. You know when you never really realised you needed something until you get it? I know that's not the saying. I know the thing is you don't know what you've got till it's gone. But with this, I didn't know I wanted it until I got it. I'm going to put the nice group pick in over here. Gold star award over by the swish sofas and the bronze star award over by the checkered sofas just because you know hierarchy in a hospital i'm assuming there would be one would there be one never worked in a hospital don't know cuckoo clock over by this area i don't know if i can plonk it anywhere plonk it anywhere plonk 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 um a nice big christmas tree to make everybody feel nice and christmasy because everybody likes feeling Christmassy. Look at this place! This is an absolute epic staff room. Like, staff rooms looked quite boring before. They were very, very basic. But now, you can up your staff room game. And that's what everybody wants. One thing I didn't realize I needed until I got it. Epic. 
fake staff room. Put on my fake doctors. I'm just getting so excited and carried away by everything that I can see here. I haven't even added any lockers in here, but I don't need any lockers. I don't think I need any lockers. Look at that for a staff room. You telling me that's not the coolest staff room you've ever seen? It's got a cat rug. It's got a f***ing cat rug. Right, so let's just take a moment to appreciate this actual new building. There's so much detail in it. There's a cannon down here. Look at that cannon. Can you believe there's a cannon? It's just so massive. Try not to slip in the sick. So now I've shown you most of the new stuff, I'm gonna head back to the Underlook Hotel and we can try and impress Miss D Yeti Man. You've got to change your mindset completely when you go from sandbox to challenge mode because you just don't wanna to spend too much money. And I love spending money. And we need to do complete a marketing campaign. General marketing, duration six months, launch campaign. Recurring collisions with the ground have caused microscopic moss to grow on the person's face. With the new illnesses, there are 34 new region-specific illnesses, which I don't think we're going to find all of them. And there are nine visual illnesses. And this is a man. Cat tension. Dressed like a dog. I think we know what is wrong with him. We've already built the room, haven't we? In the last hospital. So I'm going to rebuild the room really quickly and... We don't even have the room. We don't have the room ready. We know what's wrong with you, but we haven't got anything. We haven't got the room unlocked yet. Hotel target, water five plants. Mm, I don't want to say that they're not setting very high targets for us because you know, you don't want to ever make more work for yourself, but lots of herring. Breakfast was generous, lots of herring, five rib. Oh, it's really weird that your reputation is being based on the, ho the hotel that's nearby because there it is. Very shining. We've been giving 18 grand for achieving a target. Hooray! Doghouse required. Get patient to wait. There's a Dalmatian running around now. We've been given 20,000 by the Underlook Hotel for achieving a target. Oh my goodness! Um, was he crying at that dog? Henry Bottomley. The hospital is up and running now. The Bigfoot Foundation have acquired the technology to treat patients with barking mad and donated. Doghouse is unlocked. So we're going to build a doghouse and we're going to see someone get cured of barking mad we've got nurse albert codswallop in the doghouse i'm looking forward to seeing how the canine away works ooh, ooh. where who's our first patient we've got loads of dogs waiting who are you jacinta lentils hmm what no way! As ever, I am impressed by Two Point Hospital's humour and room design for their special illnesses. And I think that the Bigfoot DLC is definitely a good first instalment of Two Point Hospital DLC. And it's also a very reasonable price. And I think this is a good place to end it. If you did enjoy today's video, please do like and subscribe to Rock Paper Shotgun. But before I go, one last quick thing. Thanks again to Shadow for sponsoring this RPS video. Shadow is a high-end, cloud-based computer available on any internet-enabled device. Just like any Windows 10 PC, you can use it to work, play or browse. It has the specs to handle any game and comes with an integrated fibre connection, perfect for downloading any game or uploading a video at the speed of light. For more info on Shadow and a discount for RPS viewers, click the link in the description. So yes, do let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I will try and do some more Two Point stuff in the future. While you're here, why not check out my Two Point Hospital versus Project Hospital comparison and also my latest Sims 4 video going through all the different DLC that's there. DLC mad! I love DLC! Thanks once more for joining me and uh, I hope to see you again soon.